What up, sweet gang? It's your girl Rochelle in the building coming to give you life in another video. In this video, I am going to show you how to make my strawberry crumble for my strawberry crumble strawberries. So what I will be doing in this live session, showing you how to create the crumble as well as dip strawberries and coat with the crumble. I will also show you two ways how to make this strawberry crumble. One an easy way and one baking it. All right. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell to let you know your girl Ro is on and I'm coming to give you life. Leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoying this video. And for all supplies, they will be in the description box up under this video. So the first part, I'm going to show you how to make the crumble that you have to bake in the oven. All right. So what I have is a couple of gloves here, two forks, a knife. I have some strawberry um, jello and vanilla jello pudding. I have one stick of butter. And in these bowls, I have um, all purpose flour. This is a half cup in each bowl. All right. I have my favorite flavor in the whole wide world at this point um, is cooking it. And I would definitely put the link in the description box below. This is better than vanilla extract. All right. Um, and I will be using that. I got my two cookie sheets that I'm going to be using. And my one-fourth uh, teaspoon to add in the flavor. All right. And also, I got some Oreos. Some golden Oreos. For the second um, demo for the short version of making your strawberry crumble. All right. With my food processor over to the right here. And we're going to go ahead and get started. First off, <clears throat> let's get our butter added. Okay. This is a real simple process here. All right. <clears throat> Cutting the butter in half, okay? You want to make sure your butter is softened. So you want to take it out. Don't melt it in the microwave. Let it sit out and add it to your recipe, okay? Uh, when you melt it, you're damaging the process of your recipe when you melt your butter. This can be unsalted or salted butter. Um, I am using salted butter, okay, and I'm putting a half, uh, uh, it's one stick, and I'm cutting it in half for each individual box that I'm going to be using, all right? So with the vanilla, you want to open it up, add the full pack. For the strawberry, open it up. And apply the whole pack. There's several different ways you can make this crumble. Okay. You can use more flour. You can double the recipe um, to make more crumble. Taking your fork. Start with the strawberry and just mix and mash it all together. Okay. This is purpose of having softened, softened butter. I said melted earlier, but softened butter. It should be softened. Okay. 
If it's too soft and it's melted, then you won't get the fullness of that um, crumble type feel once you mix your crumble together. Okay? You want to make sure it's all blended in there. It is a process when you do it. Don't rush the process. Just mix it on up. Trust the process. Just trust the process. Okay, you don't have to add any flavor to the strawberry. Um, but I am going to add cookie nip to the vanilla just to give it that extra boost of flavoring. Mix it all up until it looks like it's crumbled. Okay. All right. Then you're going to take your one fourth teaspoon of cookie nip. If you don't have cookie nip, um, you can use um, vanilla extract. Or almond. Oop. Okay. Just add that in there. And this cookie nip is, is awesome. So you do not want to sleep on the cookie nip. Okay, the cookie nip is a buttery, it's a buttersweet blend of vanilla bean and salted caramel. So it's really, really good. And this is the vanilla that I'm mixing up. <clears throat> okay, and do the same as if you are mixing up some grits or something. <laughs> mix until you get it all combined and crumbled just like you did with the strawberry okay you want to preheat your oven at uh, 350 degrees depending on your oven some ovens um, range in temperature some uh, heat quickly or heat faster or cook faster than others so um, when creating this crumble and putting it in the oven. Um, if 350 is too high, then 340 or 345. And it only needs to go in the oven for between five, five to seven minutes. Okay, no longer than that because you don't want your crumble to um, burn. Especially if it's used for going on cakes or <clears throat> cake sickles. Or even on your strawberries. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you were doing like um, a different flavor like lemon. Um, you would use the lemon jello mix and just mix that so that it can be a flavor added um, to with the strawberry. So it just depends on what you want to mix together as uh, your crumble. Okay.
All right, so that's pretty much well combined. Okay. You take one cookie sheet, or you can combine them together, whichever one. Normally, I cook them on two separate cookie sheets, um, but you can combine them together. Spread it out on your pan. Okay, you don't want to let it come out to be like sand, but you want it to have some crumble. Okay, you don't need to spray the pan. I have parchment paper on here. Okay, let's go ahead and add the rest of that on there. And then I'm going to place this in the oven. For five to seven minutes. All right. So once I take it out the oven, you can leave it out or you can place it in the freezer about five minutes till it cools cool down then take it out and break it up and you have your crumble done this way all right so i'm gonna put it in the oven The other way um, that I used to do all the time, and that is using Oreos mix. Okay. And just the strawberry jello mix. Now, you also, if you don't have a food processor, you can put it in a blender or you can break it up in your um in a ziploc bag and just take you a rolling pin and just beat the <laughs> beat the oreos until they all come crumbling down but putting in your oreos i have two rolls of golden oreos here okay be a little nosy now i'm just gonna um pulsate this because i don't want to to make it like sand still got some cookies up in there Okay. And that's pretty much broken up there. Okay. 
pour that in. Now this is done with the Oreos. When you don't want to put it in the oven. Okay. And what I used to do is just give me a, a Ziploc bag. Pour in the crumble. And so, take my jello, strawberry jello, and add it straight to the bag. And then add in a half stick of butter, softened butter. I'm just gonna mix that up. And just add that butter to the bag. Unsalted or salted butter, whichever one you choose. Cut it in half, so this is about four sticks of butter. Let me just cut this. Okay, you want it to be softened. Get some air out of that. And this is the easy way of making your strawberry crumble. Now when I do do it this way, I add a little bit of strawberry flavoring to the bag. Just one fourth teaspoon. I'm gonna pour some in here. Just lay it on the tray now doing this this way you can put it in the oven if you like um, but when I do it this way I normally don't bake it so I know some people do but when I use the Oreos I don't have to bake it unless I'm putting it on a cake but that is the Oreo way Okay, pretty cool, right? All right, so I do have some strawberries that I'm going to dip with you all. I already have my chocolate melted, which I'm going to reheat. And I'm using white chocolate for um, a video of my 
chocolate on how to melt. Uh, check it out, and I'll leave the link in the description box for you. Just heat that up a little bit with my strawberries. Okay, being that it's already melted, it don't need to be reheated too long. It's always a process when you're doing something, so. Dipping strawberries takes patience. Baking takes patience. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna, that's the crumble. Saying it's ready. Okay. Putting in my stick here for my strawberry. I want to make sure this is completely dry. Making sure the strawberry is completely dry before you dip into your chocolate. Where you're going to have some issues. Okay, I want to make sure which side I'm sitting it down on. Just repositioning my stick. It's always important to, which I always make it important to position my strawberries because I want it to sit into a nice position um, on the flat side after I have dipped. Okay. And just going in all the way. All right. I'm just going to use some of this crumble here. And I just pack it on. Okay. Just like that. And you let it dry. I'm going to sit that one right there. Get this out of trouble. Okay, that's the other crumble that came out. I'm going to set it in the freezer for about five minutes, and then you break it up. Okay? Get another strawberry, and I will open the floor for a few questions. Thank you all for joining me. For those that are joining, this is a live recorded session. So those that will be re-watching this video, it was recorded live. Really nice, simple way of... And as I pack it on, I kind of shape it up to still into a strawberry shape, but all right, nice fat strawberries.
Okay. And it's really, really good. So this is the crumble for that was made with the Oreos. I'm gonna set that to the side. And this will be basically for my strawberries. Okay. Everything I love to do with my strawberries, the crumble. Is use some syrup. You can do white drizzle, chocolate drizzle, um, however you choose to decorate the strawberry. You can. Use a piping bag for this, but just showing you if you wanted to. This is not how I do my drizzle, but just showing you that you can use chocolate right over the crumble. Okay. Usually I put it in a piping bag and just go back and forth, but... All right, and then just a little bit of syrup. And it becomes scrumptious after that. All right. That is how I make my strawberry crumble. As well, if I had the lemon version, I do the lemon as well. Instead of the vanilla, I just do lemon. And add a little lemon flavor to the mix. Just a, just a little bit. And then it becomes like a pink lemonade, which it tastes really good on the strawberries. All right. But it haven't been in there long, so I just wanted to show you when you do take it out, just take it out and crumble it up. Once you crumble it up, you can put it in your bag, in a Ziploc bag or um, a nice small container. And that's pretty much it. That's your crumble. And you can apply it, you can make these, and you can make it and it can go on your cake, cake sickles. I'm going to do a cake sickle version soon, which I think it would be pretty cool. Then it will look like the, that strawberry crumble ice cream. But you just break it up. Okay. You don't want to break it up too much. But you want to leave it where it's some crumble about your mix. All right. There you have it. All right. I hope you all have enjoyed. I will take a few questions. And I will see you in the next video. For sure. Let's see. I will take a few questions. Let's see.
Someone asked, have I deleted videos? No, I have not deleted videos. In order to view my videos, you can go to my uh, profile picture. Click that and just go to videos on my channel. And just go down and it should say see more. And just go down and you will see um, the rest of my videos. Or you can go to the search engine and put in whatever it is you're looking for. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's it. I hope you all have enjoyed um, the strawberry crumble. This have been requested. I know a lot of people has done this, but everyone wanted to see um, how I do my strawberry crumble for my strawberries. And this is pretty much it. And my secret ingredient that I add that everyone loves and wonder what do I put in my strawberry crumble. This is it. That's what changed. Cooking it. I will leave the link in the description box below. Thank you all for joining me. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, letting, letting you know. Because I know, too, when you 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 have clicked it, <laughs> um, that your girl row is on. And I will definitely see you all in the next video. Don't forget, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you want to see next. I got a lineup for you, so stay tuned. And I'll see you all in the next video.